Hey guys, uh, in this video, I will show you how to log into the Pearson platform. In the previous video, I showed you how to log into Blackboard and you were able to get to this particular screen having logged into your course, which is computer skills. Uh, if, you, if you are not sure how to get to this stage, I suggest that you watch the previous video. The assumption is now that we are logged into Blackboard in the course that we need to use, which is Computer Skills 1. So now to log into the Pearson platform, we need to go to the left-hand side and it says course activities. So this is where we have the links to go to the Pearson plat platform. So I'm gonna click on course activities and it then brings me to this particular page. Uh, from here, I need to go to the third link, which says my lab IT course materials. So I need to click on that. And it then is redirecting me now to the Pearson platform. You will see now at this stage, it wants me to accept some uh, the end user license agreement. If I scroll to the bottom, uh, I need to accept this license. So I will click on I accept. And once you've clicked on I accept, it takes a short while and it's going to take you to the next screen. There we are. Here it's asking me to log in. It wants me to enter a username and a password. So this step we can ignore. There is no username and password. So what I'm now going to request you to do is to close this tab. So click on the cross and close that tab. It brings you back to the page that we were at. And now this time I'm going to click on the same link my IT course materials. And when I click on that, it's now redirecting me. It no longer is going to ask me to accept any terms. It's now logging me in directly into the system. There we are. I'm now logged into the Pearson platform and I am now able to view all my materials. And this is where I've got all the materials that are stored for you to use. So now you need to make use of Microsoft Office. In particular, we are using Microsoft Word. Uh, that requires us to go to chapter 12. And in chapter 12, it talks about creating documents with Microsoft Word 2016. So let's click on that particular link, chapter 12. And once I click on that link, it now takes me to the different activities for Microsoft Word. Here, I need to go into the chapter 12 activities. So let's click on chapter 12 activities. And it now takes me to another screen. Uh, in this, on this particular screen, I'm looking for the simulations. So we need to go to chapter 12 simulation activities, right? Let's click on chapter 12 simulation activities. And it now takes us to the training. I know there's a lot of links, but we are pretty much there now. That's the simulation training. So let's click on the simulation training. Once I click on that, it's now going to start up the simulator. And this simulator is going to teach us how to make use of Microsoft Word. It takes a short while to start up. We just have to be patient. And there we are. This is a simulator. If the simulator is not maximized, there is a maximize uh, little icon here on the top right hand corner. Let's click on that to maximize the screen. So this simulator, as the word simulator suggests, it's not the real thing, but it's creating an environment that's teaching us how to use Microsoft Word. So there's a few parts that we need to know. The first part is 
this window on the top, which is uh, what we are shown. And it's based on this particular activity that we need to do. At the bottom, we have a question. So this is actually the question that we have to now answer. And on this end, we have some uh, little icons that we need that we can go through. I'll take you through each of these now. Let's start with the right hand side. It tells us that we have 29 activities in total we have to go through and we currently on one. And then we've got these arrows that can take us to the next activity and come back to the previous activity. For each of the activities, we've got five attempts. All right, we've got five attempts for each of them. Uh, we can click on view all. So that gives us all 29 activities. I can scroll down and I can jump to another activity and I can click on launch and that will start that particular activity. I don't suggest you do that. I suggest you go through the activities in sequence. I'm going to close that. Then a very important feature is this learning aid. If we cannot answer the question that they have given to us, then we use the learning aid which teaches us how to go about doing this. So in this case, it says, display a blank Microsoft Word document. That is the question. You can see it's highlighted. Display a blank Microsoft Word document. Now, I, if I'm not sure how to display a blank Microsoft Word document, I go to the learning aid and I've got two options. I can either watch a video or I can go to the practice. I'm going to go to the practice and there's some audio here where it tells you exactly what to do. So let's listen in whilst I click on the practice. It takes me to the practice blank, simulator. Blank document. And you will see it tells us exactly this is the practice hint. And there's a red dotted line that tells us exactly where we need to click on. There's audio. If I click on the play, it repeats exactly what is written in this box. So to create a blank document, I just simply need to click on that. So once I click on that, there we are. I've created. That is my practice. It showed me how to do it. Now I come back to my activity and I click on exactly what I did in my practice. And there we are. That is complete. It's now taking us to the second question. It says, type internships available and then, then press en enter two times. So we have to type this internships available and press enter two times. If you don't know how to do that, go to, uh, again, you can go to the um, practice or you can click on the video. You can try the video out on your own. I've shown you the practice. But in this case, uh, I am going to now um, type internships, uh, I-N-T-E-R-N-S-H-I-P-S, internships available. That's what they want us to do. Type that and then press enter two times. So one, two. There we are, that's done. I know it's done because I can see it's moved to the next part. At the insertion point, type this summer. So it wants me to type more information here. So you just simply have to go about typing this. And again, I repeat, if you're not sure what is required, click here and go to practice. It takes you to the practice environment and it will then I tell you. This summer, Sturgeon Point Production will be filming a short documentary in Costa Rica about its native birds and has positions available for two interns. Make sure to include the period. Right. So this is uh, exactly what needs to be done. I'm not going to go and type all of this, but this is the simulator. After you have finished this, you will see it now tells us that question one is completed and we would now have moved on to question two. Now you need to complete all 29 activities. This will be done over a period of time. I will tell you at what stage, what activities need to be completed. I hope you are able to get into the simulator and make a start with these activities. 
so that you can start learning how to make use of Microsoft Word. I hope this video helps you. Till the next time, I will see you. Take care and goodbye.